Hey, good people. How you doing? Welcome back to Stock Up with Larry Jones. Hit the like button already, good people. You know, this, this video is going to be loaded with a lot of gems on where the market is, where can we make money, and some plays that um, I told you guys that I was going to get into on yesterday's video. I will leave yesterday's video in the box in your upper right hand corner at the end of this. Um, but let me start by saying that this uh, video is sponsored by Stock Up You. Come and learn and earn. Come and learn and earn, right? And also, too, today I want to talk about um, the trading app Weeble. I want everyone to download Weeble because that is where I'm doing all of my options trading in Weeble and my um, my DCA in Weeble. OK, uh, this is an app where you could set it and forget it. Um, they will. They are now in the UK. Um, I am uh, I will have my own link. For those of you in the UK, uh, you can't do options trading in the UK as of yet, but you can participate in the US market by um, downloading Weeble. So Weeble on this video will be the second link below. Let's get right into it. Um, so the market, uh, let's just bag up. So today we had PPI. Yesterday we had CPI, CPI, Consumer Price Index. Today we had PPI, Producers Price Index. Consumer price index measures the rate of change uh, of goods and services that we use and, and consume, right, as a consumer. Now, PPI is the producer's part. It is a gauge that measures the rate of change percentage-wise, okay? And so both came in kind of in line, if you ask me. Uh, though some was on CPI, some was a little uh, less showing that inflation is continue to come down. And, uh, and then we had a PPI on today. So at the time of um, filming this, we could see that the market, you could see the Dow climbed up. It was up over 150 points today. And as you could see, it kind of went down now. I kind of expected it, though it was not 100 percent sure with my psychology trading, because when CPI came out, because they said they uh, the Fed um, said that it was going to be higher month over month. They pumped us with that. Right. And I didn't react negatively to that. Right. I didn't overreact. I've learned this from these guys. So because they said it was going to be higher month over month and it came in actually lower, the market did what? It shot up. Now, I make money on overreactions because the market shot up. Then I thought it was a overreaction. I was talking with stocks with Josh about this yesterday. I believe it was an overreaction. Now, CPI usually comes on a Wednesday. This time it came on a Thursday followed by a Friday. Now we could clearly see that right now the Dow is, uh, let's just get rid of those. We could see that the Dow did what spiked up again this morning, spiked up. And now it is a cool off and it being Friday is kind of risky because a lot of Fridays, especially after CPI and PPI and all of this, we had a downgrade on the banks. Then we had Finch that downgraded the U.S. Uh, credit. We had all of this negative stuff, but the market is still showing itself resilient. So now I believe that it was an overreaction. So what did I do on yesterday? I told you guys I did a call and a put on Disney. I did a call, didn't make that much money. I'm not going to show you guys, but in the class in stock up you, uh, I'm going to, because I need to, it's going to take a long time to show some of my psychology trading. I will leave an extra, there will be an extra lesson on everything I did with uh, these two plays. I'm going to put that in the class. So make sure you download the class. The reason why I'm putting it in the class is a lot of new people are getting in and they don't understand the basics and the fundamentals. So I don't want you to cheat 
and lose all your money. So I'm going to put that in the class. So I made uh, only 3% going up and then I sold it right at close. I was in a very short period just before I, right after I made the video yesterday, I just cashed out because it wasn't going anywhere. Now the put, I'm up um, over 20% at the time of this and I may or may not hold, okay? Um, uh, and so uh, I'll show you guys over in the class. So if you're in the class, expect a new class to be uploaded this weekend, okay? So let's keep it going. So um, let's look at Disney. Let's just go ahead and look at Disney. As we could see, Disney is uh, selling off to the downside. I'm making this um, two hours before closing bell. And as we can see, Disney continues to sell off to the downside here on Friday. And so I'm still holding my, uh, Walt Disney. Uh, I said Tesla, I meant to say Disney. So if I said Tesla, forget it. I, everything I I'm referencing is Disney. I did a Disney call and a Disney put. Okay. All right. So Disney. And so it is selling off. Boom. Right. And so now I'm in the money now on my Disney call, because of what I told you guys, I had a small portion in my calls, but I had five, probably seven times as much on my put. Okay. And so it is going down. Right. So Here's what I want to show you also about Disney. For those of you that are not into options, Disney at $80, I am going to be buying more Disney for long term, not stock, not options, not calls, not puts, just buying the stock outright. And if support breaks below 80 ish, it could fall all the way down to $60. So what happens when, if that happens, Larry, I'm not going all in at $80. If I'm going to start DCAing in at $80, but what I'm going to do is come up with the amount of money that I want to put into Disney total. And I'm going to split it up into three parts and not in the four, not in five, not in the 10. So I'm going to go in one third at 80 and if it starts coming down then i'll put another third in and if it goes down even lower then i'll put another third in and the amount of money that i have allotted for disney i'm going to stop right there and i'm going to wait because i believe that disney will be 160 dollars stock that's what i believe remember anything i say is not a suggestion for you to buy hold or sell when it will get to that price i don't know but i believe that they will return to their core audience stop all of the stuff they don't need to be involved in and just stick to good amusement parks and good content okay all right and that's what um that's what i wanted to say about disney now remember when i told you guys about capri holdings how they they own the expensive purses uh, uh um, i i forgot the name of the purses you ladies that are buying these expensive purses Here's one of the plays I want to show you. All right. Capri Holdings. OK, it is selling off. So remember when they did the uh, merger um, and I talked about it two days ago and I said, hey, it ran up over 50 percent. I think it was like 57 percent in one day. For those of you that know me and my psychology trading, that is what? Too much, too quick. Um, I'll just show you this. So what I did was I did a put, meaning that it's going to go down and um, I made 25 percent and I am out. Uh, I have tapped out right here, but it went up one hundred and fourteen percent. Now, you guys know I wish I'd have had more of that one hundred and fourteen percent. So we could see that it went down. No, I didn't. Um, I didn't. Uh, um, say, hey, I'm going to buy this much of this because it was very, very risky. But whenever, just don't worry about, oh, I missed that play. Take the principle and you can use this, these principles to apply these principles from here on out. Remember, just like on yesterday's video, there are thousands of stocks and there are thousands of opportunities every single day. And so these principles will make you money from here on out. 
All right. But you got to use something as examples. Now, here's what else what I want to show you. So you guys know that every day, I'm sorry, every Friday that I add a hundred dollars to SCHD, VOO and ARC. As you can see, ARC is down by four and a half percent. But as you could see, I have twice as much into ARC. Why? Because I doubled down on ARC as they go down. Why is ARC down? You know, Kathy Woods had sold, she sold some Tesla and she sold a lot of stock. People didn't see that as good. A lot of people think she cray cray. Somebody even said Kathy Woods is cray cray, but I'm gonna to continue to invest in ARC because I do believe that when this thing continues to get beat down and I buy it as it gets beat down, I do believe that ARC will, just think about it. A couple of weeks ago, I showed you guys ARC, it was up double digits. It was up 12% with me doing this. Now it's down four and a half percent. You best believe it'll be back up 12, 24, 100% again one day. So I don't chase it when it's green, I buy it when it's red. The same thing we're going to do with what? Disney. We're going to buy it as it's beat down. All right. So let's take a listen to this and we'll go further. Well, indeed, pay attention to these University of Michigan sentiment figures. They're August preliminary, but you can see interest rates already moving a little bit lower. The headline number 71.2 exactly as expected, but it is a little lighter than 71.6, which is our final read last month. However, despite that slight drop, it's still basically near the highest level since October of 2021, which 71.6 was. And if you look at current conditions, 77.4, that indeed is the best since October of 2021. Now here's where it starts to get interesting. That was headline current conditions. As you look to the future, the numbers dip. 67.3 and the rear view mirror was 68.3 67.3 indeed uh, would be the lowest level since june when it was 61.5 but it really does represent a bit of a backup now on inflation here's actually good news 3.4 last look 3.5 expected but what we arrive at is 3.3 percent and to find a lower one-year inflation on this particular set of data points you'd have to go all the way back to march of 21 at 3.1 and if we look at five to ten year it's a handle change finally we move from the three percents and we've had a lot of 3.1 and 3.0s to 2.9 percent to find a lower rate of inflation. We've had a few 2.9s, but to find a lower rate of inflation, you have to go to September of 2022. So you can see yields have moved a bit lower, but we're still a lot stickier and interest rates are still a bit higher than they were last week. Sarah? Car so there you go. Consumer sentiment as it pertains to inflation, all right? That these are some of the things that we need to be paying attention to and not just the what a particular stock is doing. We always need to see what the overall market is doing. Now, I have another video I want you guys to watch. Uh, hold on one second. Now, this is Tom Lee. For those of you that watch CNBC, he is a very bullish, bullish guy as far as the market is concerned. And he actually has been mostly right. Now, let's hear what he has to say person on this epic hour. Tom, thanks for coming down here as well. You've been one of the bulls. You have been right. Inflation is coming down. The market has been, I think soaring is a pretty good word. We're up 17% year to date. But what have you done for us lately? Where are we going from here, Tom? Uh, well, Brian, I think that was a great rundown you gave. Uh, There's a lot there. <laughs> yeah, but I think as people peel the onion, this was a very good inflation report because it's setting up for the next two months to see inflation slow even further. Because the things that you mentioned, like core services, X housing, that came in at 0.22, like 4% year over year, but you're dropping two big months of August and September last year. So the next two months, that thing's gonna start to fall. I think markets should have rallied pretty hard today on, on the inflation report. Well, they did. We were up 400 at one point of the Dow. We ended in the green just a touch, but we came down, we lost that 400. Is the Federal Reserve done raising rates or with today's number, is it 
you know, possibly get another rate hike. Uh, yes. Yeah, so let's say I was originally in the 60 percent chance that July was the last hike. I think it's now in the 80 percent range. I, I okay. think that the Fed is done hiking for the cycle. So, Don, you guys heard that. Of course, that's Tom Lee. He's a forever perma bull. And he thinks that the Fed is done. He also thinks that the market should have rallied based on the PPI uh, inflation, right? And I think it, it did what it's supposed to do. So I disagree with him there. But uh, as we could see, things are, um, uh, things are, are, are pretty good, uh, basically. Things are just pretty good on what's going on with the uh, 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 inflation cooling off. I'm sorry, I'm having a little difficulties. One of my units is not working, so I have to do it. I have to do the pause and start thing. But you guys get it. All right, so I'm going to leave it there. You guys let me know. Is the Fed done raising interest rates? Is all of the data that we have, CPI, PPI, consumer sentiment, um, what Tom Lee said, do, do you think that the Fed is done raising interest rates? Leave me a comment on that. OK, and let me know on top of that, what do you guys have in plan? Are you going to start buying more of the market or are you just going to cool it and, and not risk it? I am taking it one day at a time. I'm not going to be overly bearish, overly bullish, trade the market that I'm in. But I am not putting all of my money into this market. I still make money, but I don't have all of my money into it. OK, hey, let's make sure you guys Make sure on today that you download the Weeble link and put a minimum of $100 in. And yes, it is available in the UK. A lot of you guys always ask, hey, how can I trade in the UK? What's a great app? This is a great app. And I'll tell you why it's a great app. Because not just because it's where I do all of my trading, all of my options trade. But I want you guys to look at this. Right. You guys, this is you see here reoccurring, reoccurring, reoccurring. I said it and forget it. Right. What is that? As you can see, a hundred dollars every Friday of what? A.R.K.K. Right. Look at this. What is this? A hundred dollars every Friday. S&P 500. What is this? A hundred dollars every day on S. I'm sorry. Every Friday. S.C.H.D. Those I have set for Friday. Not only do I buy all of the time, but I also buy fractional shares. OK, and so only one hundred dollars. I don't have to buy the whole share. So I know exactly what's coming out of my account. Remember, good people, when it comes to building long term wealth, remember these lessons that we teach are ap applicable, not just for, oh, I missed that trade. Please do not leave that. The purpose in making this video is the psychology of the trades that I made and why. Now you could take that and use it from here on out. OK, but with Weeble, you can do fractional shares and you can do reoccurring purchases. That's what I love about it. OK, for those of you in the UK, Eventually, by next year, you will be able to do options. But now you can uh, they have a different promotion for you guys uh, and I will be providing a link. I applied for it. It will be coming. Uh, and if I said anything that helped any of you guys, please leave me a comment. But mostly, where do you think this market is? Do you think the Fed is done and um, and how how we're going to move or how you're going to move moving forward? OK, you guys have a blessed and safe weekend. We will see you. You guys know Sunday I do my inspiration and we may stop in on Saturday. Studio C. Love you guys. Live, love, laugh and learn.